Today, I'm introducing you to the gadgets and tools that make my life easier when it comes to nutrition. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alexis, sports dietitian and nutrition coach. Welcome again to my channel. Great to have you here. So a lot of athletes, they tell me, nutrition just feels so overwhelming. Nutrition, it just feels so time consuming. How do I make it easier for myself? Well, while nutrition is always going to have to require some level of effort and some level of implementation of strategy, there is ways that you can make it a bit more simple when it comes to the meal prep process and the tracking process as well. And that is why I want to introduce you today to the like appliances and tools and gadgets, whatever you want to call them, that I personally use that makes my life easier when it comes to my own nutrition and things that I've recommended to clients as well. And hence, that's why we're in my kitchen, okay? That's why I'm gonna introduce you exactly to those things. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's show you exactly what appliances and tools I want to kind of share with you. Let's go. Okay, so the first kind of gadget that I want to introduce is my pride and joy, and that is my pressure cooker. Okay, when I bought this, I thought, you know, I heard about it, made, made it look like it was gonna make meal prep easier but I didn't expect it to be so versatile and such a lifesaver when I really want to make a bunch of meal prep and I don't have that much time. So this bad boy right here can make anything from just your simple kind of cooked meat and soups and things like that, as well as being obviously a rice cooker as well. It can even make lasagnas, it will make pastas, okay? I can make a great spaghetti bolognese. Actually, surprisingly, it tastes very, very good. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can make in it as well that I even haven't tapped yet, okay? I even haven't gone to those levels where you can make cakes and even makes yogurts apparently and things like that. So there's so much versatility and because the pressure cooker, it cooks things a lot quicker and also you can kind of put it in there, go watch a movie and it will still be cooking and you don't have to worry about it. It's such a lifesaver. Trust me, if you want to, grab yourself one of these, okay? A pressure cooker. I've got this one here, but there's other ones out there as well. Lifesaver, probably the biggest gadget that I wanted to share with you today. Okay, now the next one that I wanna share with you is this. It's my Ninja Blender, okay? It's not the highest level one you can buy, it's not the lowest one. It's like a nice in-between and it does the job perfectly. So this thing here I use obviously for a number of different things, obviously smoothies, and also you can make like protein ice creams, which is really, really great. And the volume, as you can see, pick it up again for you. The volume is quite substantial, so you can make yourself a big bowl or a big jug, whatever you want to call it, of protein ice cream. It's low calorie and it fills you up. So that's like a really, really good thing you can make with this. You can also blitz up things for soups and ingredients. And as you can see, it's not your typical blender, okay? As you can see with the little blades, it's like a, it's like a cylinder with blades. I don't know what it's called, but it basically pulverizes whatever you put in there. It's different settings. Honestly, when it comes to blenders, if you are someone that likes to blend a lot of things or have some versatility, grab yourself one of these for a bit of extra money rather than just a normal blender will really make a difference if you're someone that's doing a lot of meal prep, trying different recipes, trying protein recipes, all that sort of stuff. Hey, this thing has also been a lifesaver. I used to always just get the very basic blenders. They did their job, but this honestly took it to another level. So one of these Ninja blenders, a really, really great investment if you're looking to make things like the liquidy things, so to speak and make it a lot easier for yourself. So yeah, if you've been on the market for a blender, consider one of these bad boys. You won't, you won't regret it, trust me. You'll pay the extra price, you'll get home, you'll try it, and be like, worth it. Okay, on to number three. Number three is my food processor. Okay, now you're probably thinking, why do you need one of these when you've got one of those bad boys, those big ninja blenders? Because there's different purposes, okay? You don't always want to grab a big ass blender when you want something different, okay? Something you can just mix by hand. So this one is really good. It's not obviously attached to the thing, but Zoom, 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 it just blitz it up, see? Blades in there, okay? So this is something that I use, for example, when I'm making my, my brownie batter, for example. It's really perfect for that because it gives you the exact volume without all the extra hassle of getting a big appliance ready. And also, it's got one of these things as well. It's got attachments, okay? It's got one of these blitzes as well. Obviously, got one of these mixers. And you got a little jug there that you can make like mousse and things like that. So yeah, one of these things, having those around when you just need something smaller is really great. So a food, like a good, decent, reliable food processor of some sort. This is a handheld one. You can get other ones. I like the handheld ones. They're much more versatile for me. I can move it around easier. Can honestly make your life easier when it comes to prepping a little bit of things, crushing things, and just blitzing up little mixes and cakes and mousses and that sort of stuff. Okay, it's really made my life easier. I was happy I bought one of these. Also, the fact that it has this attachment and then it's electrical, 
well, you can see how easy it is to do things when you need to use yourself a whisk. Makes life much more simple, especially if you're strapped for time. Okay, number four. Number four is one of these big banquet stir fry, fry pan, whatever you want to call it. You know what it seems. Okay, I'll open it up for you. So it's got the lid, obviously. It's as big as ones like this, okay? This is not the most expensive one. It does the job. There are better ones out there. I don't use as much as my other things, but this is something that when I really want to make something, you know, like a stir fry, it's not going to make the perfect stir fry. Obviously, it's not a wok. But if you want to make something that's, you know, like a lot more high in volume, you just want to make a lot of meal prep, something like this can work really, really well. Okay, you can even make it pretty much for most things. You can make a bunch of eggs on this. You can make some sausages. You can make... You know, you can just cook some meat on there if you want. You can even just make a pasta, like if you want to mix it through there. There's so many things you can use this to make, but it's really great if you want to make those kind of casserole stir fry curries and that sort of stuff, and you want to make it in a big batch. Something like this ensures there's a little, you know, less mess because you're not spilling everything in a normal saucepan. And yeah, invest in one of these, have it on the side there when you need it. It really does help. So yeah, a banquet fry pan that's electric, you can't go wrong, okay? It just heats it to the perfect, the perfect kind of temperature you need and does the job. Okay, now we're onto these smaller utensils. These are more like tools, so to speak. And some of them are, might be very much common sense, but I just want to share some that when I looked from my drawer, I was like, oh, this could be interesting to share with you. Okay, so number, okay, the first kind of one, number five, is a scale. Honestly, if you're an athlete who's tracking food and you don't have a scale and you're just guesstimating or just using, you know, cups and measuring spoons, which I'm not adding to this video because I'm assuming that most people have those, but FYI, those can have come in use. Something like a scale, just a decent, reliable, doesn't have to be expensive, this is a cheap one, I think it can cost me like 12 bucks. Okay, so something like this is gonna be a lifesaver if you are tracking. Now, if you're not tracking, then, and if you need it for recipes, well, then it still makes sense. But if you're not tracking and you're just doing things differently, then you can make the argument that you don't need a scale. But if you are a macro tracking athlete, if you're doing the same kind of stuff that I'm doing and that most of my clients are doing, having yourself a reliable scales in the kitchen is a life setter. So make sure you have one of these. But to be honest, I'm a very much a supporter of everyone having one of these because sometimes you just need it to measure certain things for certain reasons, i.e., like I mentioned, recipes. So yeah, food scales, consider one. And we're on to the final two. And we've got this right here, a cookie scooper. So yeah, you might be wondering, okay, why am I showing you a cookie scooper? Is that really a tool that you want to show you to make life easier? Well, hold up, okay? There's a number of different things you can use this for, but the biggest one is if you're making macro-based recipes, you know, the classic high-protein macro recipes, I've even got some on, on this channel right here, then using something like this can make it easier for you to create scoops rather than worrying about it. And it creates an even scoop, more or less, each time. So just, I saw it there in my drawer, and I was like, Maybe you'd want to consider this. Maybe it's something that you haven't thought of. But yeah, something like this, which you can scoop things from. I mean, uh, it's probably not the best for ice cream, but it's a cookie scooper specifically. Honestly, it could make it a bit easier for you when you're doing certain recipes that may require something a bit more of density that you need like little scoops of. Plus, for no other reason then, it's fun to use. <laughs> Makes you dance in the kitchen. But no, all things aside, it can make your life easier if, you, if you're making a lot of those kind of cookie recipes, especially macro-based cookie recipes. Hope you enjoyed me sharing it. Okay, and lucky last is the humble garlic crusher. And the reason I want to share this with you is maybe you're thinking, seriously Alexa, I knew that there was this, uh, this contraction. I knew that I could get a garlic crusher. Now, if you like to cut your garlic just by hand, that's awesome. Sometimes I do that as well, because these can sometimes be a nuisance to use if, not, if the garlic cloves are not quite right and then yeah. It can be a bit of a nuisance sometimes, but honestly, when you're strapped for time, you just need a bunch of garlic into your recipe. One of these, okay, like that, pop the garlic in, squeeze it, crushes it for you. Can make it a lot more easy for you, especially if you don't like cutting garlic, you're the opposite. But yeah, I mean, when it comes to tools, it's kind of very, it's underwhelming compared to the other ones I've shared, obviously, but it's something that I thought I'd share. I saw it right there, staring me in the face, like, pick me, pick me, show me to the audience. Okay, so I want to share it with you. A garlic crusher can honestly make your life easier because cutting little things like garlic and that can sometimes be that time consuming thing that puts athletes off from meal prep when they're strapped for time. So if that's you, okay, if that's what you're thinking, one of these can make it a lot better for you. So you have no excuses. You can add that garlicky flavor into your recipes without worrying about, oh my God, meal prep's gonna take so much time, you know? Use this, make it easier for yourself.
Okay, so there you go. That's what I want to introduce you for. That's the gadgets and equipment and tools and whatever you want to call it that makes my life easier when it comes to nutrition and meal prep. Now, obviously, I didn't share things like have a good chopping board, have a good knife, have a good set of other cleaning utensils. I didn't share those basics because I assume that you would either know them or that you already have those things. I want to share things that maybe you didn't think of yet, especially when it comes to the appliances. I hope that some of the ones I introduced you today were very much kind of like, whoa, moments for you, where you like consider going buying one for yourself so you can make life easier for yourself as well in the kitchen. Now, honorary mention to the air fryer, okay? I don't have an air fryer just because of spacing right now and because I just use the oven for now. I, didn't, I don't have an air fryer, but that doesn't matter. I don't need one, but air fryer, if it's something you're considering, honestly can make your life a lot easier. I've got clients that use it and they do swear by it. But yeah, that's kind of an ordinary mention that's not here in the kitchen. So if you want one, air fryers, I've heard good things. So consider that if you like to cook things up like that in a lot more quicker fashion and saying that's a bit easier to use maybe for yourself than an oven. But yeah, with any of these things, you don't need these things. You could literally go without everything that I've shared today and still make nutrition work for you. This is simply, if you wanted my tips on what I personally use as a sports dietitian to make my life easier when it comes to my nutrition, maybe these will help you. That's what the aim of today's video was about. Maybe it was just one tool or appliance today that I've shared that make it easier for you, and therefore, it's gonna make it easier for you to get results. And if that happens, well, then I've done my job with this video. So now go ahead, go start meal prepping, go, go, go follow that nutrition plan that you know you need to follow so you can get the results you need. Now, if you're in the other camp, if you're stuck and you don't have a good nutrition plan or don't have a nutrition plan at all, but you've been wondering how a sports dietitian can actually help you, well, reach out, okay? Let's talk, okay? I help athletes just like you harness their nutrition to get results that they didn't thought possible and help you with your performance, your physique, and your health. So if you are interested, there are details in the description notes below, including my contact details, or you can apply directly through the link there as well. And we then just have a chat, okay? That's all I do, we just have a chat. See if it's a good fit first. If it is, maybe I will be working with you and helping you level up your nutrition. Now, before I leave you today, I do want you to leave a comment below, okay? Leave a comment below and let me know which one of these appliances are you going to consider for yourself? Feel free to also share what is your favorite appliance or tool in the kitchen that helps you, okay? Share that below as well. Now, if you haven't already done so, remember, subscribe to the channel so you can stay in the loop whenever I release a video. And to make it even better, ring that bell so you can stay in the loop exactly when I release a video. Not just that I've released it, but exactly when I release it, if that's your thing. Now, hit the like button if this video was helpful, show it some love. Until next time, stay classy, see you later.